I know that every time we go to make a Nails record, the guitar tone is something that's going to be really important. So I always know that that's something people are going to be listening for as they hear these records. So I got to like make sure I bring it every time. Took a half day to do the guitar tones. I think it's the most important part of the record because it's fucking guitar music. One of the things that I do is like wait to see what gets you guys stoked. I've been coming to record with Kurt for a long time. I've made a lot of records with Todd Jones. He's a very old friend of mine and I feel really privileged that he's tapped me to make some pretty rad records with him. It's his third full length and our third time with Kurt Ballou. We've done all our albums with Kurt. We wouldn't trust anyone else with our records. I try to work with bands that I'm fans of, bands that I enjoy seeing live. You go to Kurt, you go to God City and it's like, this is the kind of music we play, this is the kind of sound we're going for. And he'll be like, okay, I got it, don't worry about it. You know, like a band like Nails, I've seen Nails play live a bunch of times. They've actually toured with us a little bit. So like, I really know what a Nails show feels like. So I, I try to capture sounds that impart the same feeling that a live show is like. With Nails, is very much a sense of immediacy with the songwriting, with the songs themselves, and having a really like no bullshit guitar tone that there's not a ton of nuance to it. It's just in your face, it's in your chest, it's in your gut. It's just totally immersive and actually oppressive, I think is probably the best word to describe them as a band. So I think that the tone that they have should be equally as oppressive. In terms of how I do that specifically, I couldn't tell you. It's just listening to the riffs as Todd plays them and finding the right match between guitar, pedal, amp, mics, mic preamp, EQ, all that stuff. He knows what to do, not just on the front end, but at the end, in the mixing process, he knows what to do with the guitars. The thing is, I could trust him because I could reference any type of like punk, hardcore, metal records, and he'll know exactly what I'm talking about. try to build a sound that you know not only feels like the emotion that a band is trying to get across but also the sound that will become a unique member of the band particularly with a band like Nails where like you know the tonality the sort of like freight train bulldozer guitar tone that we've got going on is such a defining characteristic of the band it's really important to me that that stands out stands apart from their contemporaries I think he's got an idea, we've got an idea, and it all fits together perfectly. And that's one of the reasons why we come to Kurt. There's new elements to the record, there's new types of riffs, there's new speeds of riffs, kind of new goals with the songs. So there's just a different sort of feel to the record this time around, and I think that the tone we got, we really focused on the mid-range more than we had in the past, like getting that kind of Slayer style, really crisp, aggressive mid-range. What song was it? In Pain. We were just trying to think of ways to make the new Nails record a little bit different from the other one. Some of the most complex riffing we have is on this record. A lot of it's like Slayer or Thrash inspired riffing. A lot of like Slayery, notey riffs. The second somebody does something like that, it's like, okay, obviously that's Slayer because they're such iconic people who make iconic sounding solos. Okay, obviously that's Slayer, that sucks. I don't look at it like that, I'm like, obviously that's Slayer, that's great. Like, I, I, I wanna hear more shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. <laughs> With solos, it's nice for me to like do a couple passes and hear what he's playing and then start trying out some alternate pedals and effects and whatnot to find something that is the most flattering for this sound. Okay, so this is supposed to be noisy, so I'm doing it for a chaotic like a Slayer solo. Yeah. So I'm not gonna bother tuning my guitar back down to C sharp, even though it's in C sharp. Okay. Like when he says that he wants like a chaotic noisy solo, that doesn't necessarily mean that he wants like a chaotic noisy pedal. That means his playing is going to be chaotic and noisy, so he actually might need more clarity from the pedal. If your playing is really chaotic, you might actually want the sound to be cleaner. Right, I understand. And then sometimes if the riff or the solo or something like that is super primitive, you might actually want a more like chaotic tone or, you know, a tone with more character to sort of bring out the chaos through the sound rather than through the performance. If you're going to do that much whammy stuff, it might actually need to be a little hotter. Okay. There's only like, I think one or two solos, like noisier solos, it's not like really structured. There's a couple parts on a record that has uh, a whammy bar, so I'll be using this for that. I like the song in pain. Last minute we added a guitar solo over the whole part, but it feels like so perfect there. <laughs> I 
I love Slayer. I've always loved Slayer. It's like a magic thing, that little whammy bar. We incorporated that into our sound and I think it's fucking cool. Hey, that was fucking